A great Tuesday we have. Tomorrow, the Minister of Finance is looking forward to 2020. 2020 is important for all of us because it is an election year. And um, we've always found out since we ushered ourselves into the Fourth Republic that we tend to exceed what the appropriations we have set for ourselves to spend. And so uh, we always tend to uh, have a lot of deficits that year. But next year, the Minister of Finance, Ken Oferiata, has promised the ordinary Ghanaian that expenditure will be, be yeah, between or just uh, within that 5% cap, as uh, was said from the last financial year. We'll see how that goes. We'll bring to you the live coverage right here. And um, we'll tell you what will be up for the discussions. We'll bring you some of the best experts we have in our country to look at many other related issues. Now we're talking the relations to tax, revenue collection, whether we've had some deficit, etc. All those achievements being touted by the various ministers, whether it's agriculture, planting for food and jobs, NAPCO with the secretariat um, at the vice president's office, and, uh, you know, Sino-Hydro, which is now latest uh, with the vice of China right here in our country. Um, you know, whether all that will be within the remits of making sure Ghana achieve its targets. But today we have to do some pre-budget review, some analysis, etc. And our guest today is Pauline Anaman. She is a senior policy analyst with ASAP, you know, that big energy think tank we have in our country. So uh, we also have uh, a development analyst uh, and uh, financial analyst as well, Ebenezer Taki Obli is going to be on the show as well and then we'll get some better perspectives on how well we're performing in the agricultural sector with Edward Kyrie. Uh, he is a general uh, secretary uh, for the Agricultural Workers Union. So please make sure that you stay with us and it promises to be exciting. What is on your mind about the budget? You know many of the times when the budget is being read a lot of um, you know, lexicon or terminologies, the technical area, so we just tend to hear it. But just in case you have great insights, you also want to contribute to that. Very easy for you to do so. The next three hours are for you. Facebook Join Us on TV is always available. We have a Twitter handle at Join Us on TV. And you can always be watching us live through Major Online TV on YouTube. We also have a, a WhatsApp platform, 0540109. Easy for you to give us more of your messages. Let us know what you think. In the meantime, apart from all the discussions on the budget and our expectations tomorrow, well, we told you on Monday that this week we will host the finalists of the 2019 KIC Agritech Challenge. Mm, Cosmos has been doing some great work with them. And so we've hosted Agroplast and Coco Aboye. Today, it's going to be the turn of Temastor and Ace Crow. We're using technology to bring great insight and innovations into agriculture. So we'll speak to them on the show today and we'll let you know what is the best innovation you can use when all these are rolled out to improve agriculture wherever you find yourself. And uh, as you get interactive, we'll bring you the latest news headlines, the latest sports headlines as well, tell you what's dominating front, center spread and back pages of the various newspapers and then we will wrap up with some great entertainment as always. And uh, please, make sure that you uh, keep us uh, up to date with what you may have heard with the latest motivational message from the morning man. Kujia Yangtze is right here. Mama Vyo Swabwaji is also right here. Uh, it promises to be a packed show. Sally Fukombat, you are the head of pharmacy at <laughs> the Boku Presbyterian Hospital, as well as your wife, Flora. I wish you all well this morning. And uh, please, stay with us.